Good afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing this afternoon? I'm doing just fine. I'm trying to get cozy. See, I'm getting cozy with my fireplace. I'll tell you, it's cool enough for a fireplace. It really is. You could, you know, not just keep it on all day, but just put maybe one log on there just to take, take the chill off the house. But, oh boy. You know what? I forgot if a few minutes ago I had to go in there. Let me show you. I will show you what's going in, oh, in here in the kitchen. I'm having baked chicken again, y'all. I had it in my freezer. Baked chicken, potatoes, and carrots. I hope it's hot. I turned the stove off a few minutes ago. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there it is, y'all. Whoop, there it is. That's that same chicken I baked. I think I better turn it on warm because I'm up here on this. Wait a minute, stove. What? Jeepers. Yeah, that's good. Let it stay on warm for a little while until I get through talking to the AAG team. How's everybody doing on this glorious afternoon? I'm doing fine. And I'm hanging in there. And I've been busy, 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 busy. And taking care of a few things I still didn't do. Oh, you know what? The glass or glass front or glass thing, whatever. I still didn't do that. And over here, it looks like and I didn't do my nails. <laughs> I still got that. Nail, it looks like I got a little makeup thing going on over here, don't it? Look at that. I forgot my bio oil does not belong here. My nail polish remover does not. I got to put this stuff back. And I got my inhaler over here. I could use some of that later on. But anyway, I've still been busy. And I put the covers up from yesterday. And um, I... I'm not going to show y'all any more covers. I think you're tired of covers. I got plenty more. Don't believe me. I might just show you some next week. I'm not sure. Oh, does it make you feel a little like Christmas? I noticed on the YouTube community that a lot of people are doing October. Wait a minute. Oct what is it? It's a Oct October Bloss, Bloss, wait a minute now, it's Christmas, um, Vlogmas, and then it's October something though that they're doing, I thought, oh, gee, I never heard of that one before, I should have got in on it, but it's too late, I mean, it's never too late, but I'm just saying, I didn't know anything about that one, I knew about the Vlogmas, you know, the Christmas thing, and that's the one you do, you know, for the whole month of December, but then they came up with a October uh, October one. I said, "Wow, I never heard of that one." Uh, so, but anyway, I wait for the Vlogmas, the Christmas one, when Santa Claus comes. You know, Santa Claus is coming to town very soon. He'll be here in a couple of months, October, November, December. Yeah, a couple of months now. And so I got plenty of time to prepare for Vlogmas. And I can't wait, y'all. I love Vlogmas. I think I better turn that stove up. That chicken going to dry out probably. It's going to dry out before I get a chance to use it, before I get a chance to eat it. What should I do? Because the oven done cooled down. Let me see. Chicken was still warm because I just had a little piece of it. Let's see if this oven hot at all. Mm. I'm, I'm going to just turn it off because I don't want no dried out chicken because it's perfect just the way it is. Got me some tater chips. And I had some muffins. Oh, here's my muffins. So I got some muffins right here. I think I'm going to have a muffin too after I have my... Uh, chicken. I take one out. I'm not going to eat two. These things are too huge. See how big they are? They're too big to eat two. But I've seen times I would eat both of them. Hey, you know, back in the day, back in the day, you know, there was a lot of things we used to do back in the day. Eat a whole 
eat a whole pint of ice cream. I think it was a pint. Remember the little, I don't know if they still make, I guess the little, <clears throat> I guess the little corner stores probably make the, uh, you know, the little pints. Remember the little pints of ice cream? I, you know, come to think of it, I haven't seen it. They make them in the round tub, like um, the Hagen Hagendaz makes the round ones. And um, Tom and, I mean, Ben and Jerry's make the little round ones. But they used to have the ones that was like in a little box like. I haven't seen them in skaty 80 years, come to think of it. I wonder if they still make them. And you used to could get them all the time at the little corner stores, you know, little convenience stores that would be in the neighborhood. Yeah, I used to eat a whole one of them at one time. No problema. Didn't even put it in the freezer at all. Just get me a spoon and go to work. <laughs> That's the way that was. You know, and a whole lot of stuff that, you know, we used to eat. And they don't have them anymore. And then, you know, the, the uh, Mary Jane candy used to be bigger. Every now and then, you can find the Mary Jane candies. And the Tootsie Rolls don't taste the same like they did when we were children. And we used to get two great big cookies. Now, we was down home then. Had two great big cookies like that for a penny. That's amazing. A soda, I think, probably cost about five or ten cents. Because when we first came up north, we used to get a big old soda like this, you know, for like 15 cents. And you go to McDonald's, remember those days when you got changed back out? Well, you know, of course, those days are behind us. You used to get talking, they used to have a, a commercial talking about you get changed back. You didn't get no change back today. Unless you just order one thing. I think they have a dollar fry sometime. And then the, uh, their little kitty menu, the little box, what you call them things, uh, the kid, kid meal. The little kid meal, I think it costs about $3 now. But things have changed. You know, over the years, you think how things have changed. And they are constantly changing. And then uh, everybody is talking about uh, how tough it's going to be this winter. As far as um, uh, finding some food, you know, the, your foods that you like to eat. Mm. You know, and then I got to thinking, oh my goodness, I got like, I think I got 15, 15 rolls of toilet paper right now, which is enough to last me for, you know, just myself, for the rest of this year. Yeah. I got enough to last me the rest of this year, and I've got paper towels. I think I got enough paper towels. Let's see, I don't even know how long paper towels last me. Because I just be, sometimes I just be pulling and pulling and pulling, and it's ridiculous. But I think I've got about four rows, two big rows. I got about four rows all told, I think. I got the brawny, you know, pick a side, and then I got the bounty. You know, regular size, big roll. So I got two of those. But I'm glad I'm about to order some more, y'all. Just in case. And I got me some dried beans in there. I got me some green beans. I got some canned goods. I got quite a few canned goods. And um, I don't know about this stuff here. I, I gotta see. Because I've had this. It has to be over a year. This is when I was having that problem. Um, where's my spyglass? A A G. Where's the spyglasses? I don't know. Oh, here it is. That's a shame. I should keep it up here on my desk. But this, this desk is so small. I wish I could get me a regular full size desk, but I have nowhere to put it. So, uh, okay. Oh, it don't expire until 24. It says 224. So I can still use this. This is the Walmart, you know, the Walmart brand of the uh, uh, Metamucil. That's some expensive stuff. I had no idea that stuff cost so much until I was having that problem, you know, with my, my uh, situation, my digestive system. And that's when I found out this stuff costs money. And, you know, your insurance ain't covering it. You got to come out of your pocket for like $30, 20 I think it's 
I, I don't know, maybe 20. I forgot how much it was now. But I needed it for my health. So I went ahead and bought the the cheapest one, which is cheaper than regular Metamucil, but basically the same. They do the same thing. But I thought, I said, because I was getting ready to throw it away. I said, let me see how much, it, I mean, you know, when this thing expires. It's a lot in here, too. I haven't, I haven't used it for a while yet. I guess you said, see, way back there. It's about, I think it, it's about that much still in there. Hmm. Maybe I have some today. I don't know. But I don't think I need it. I only do stuff like that when I need it. I think when my doctor told me to do it, I was uh, supposed to do three glasses a day. You know, he put it in, I put a, I think it was a teaspoonful or something. I don't even remember. That's why I thought it had expired. A teaspoonful in a glass, eight ounces. Eight ounces of water. Three times a day. That's what I used to have to do. Three times a day. But the old girl is much better, you know, in that department right now. I got to clean up my house, y'all. I need a housekeeper. That's what I need. I need a housekeeper more than anything else in the world right now. Other than, uh, that's it. I try to get my, I try to get my granddaughter to come over here. And, uh, I tell her I was there. And she ain't showed up. So, oh, what? I don't know what the story is. I think somebody might be a little lazy as well, you know, just like their grandmother. Because I told them I would pay it, which I would, you know. But I was told I can also get it for free. And so that's what I'm going to look into tomorrow because uh, hmm, that vacuum cleaner hurt my back so bad when I be... Because it's too heavy. First of all, it's too heavy. And I was thinking about those, you know, those uh, stick vacuums that you get. I think Dyson puts one out, Shark. I don't know if I get it, because I had looked on Amazon uh, a while back for one, and I think their price was a little steep at that time. And so, but I might have to invest in it. I think I could probably get one like for for like $99 or $100 or something like that. I used to have a, a Hoover sweeper. That thing was, I mean, it was, when it went to work, it went to work. It would pick up, I mean, that Hoover, and I had it for many, many years until I think I said that on my other video, until my daughter came over and broke it. How do you break a sweeper? And then she didn't even tell me. She was living in North Carolina at the time, and when I discovered, you know, because I had extra, I had a spare bedroom at the time. And so she was, she and her children was up there in the spare bedroom for about two weeks. I think they visited about, it might have been longer than that. And I heard a vacuuming up there, you know, but I didn't go in the room. I, I didn't even go in the room till like, maybe I got rid of the vacuum after she had left. And lo and behold, I see this thing broke. She didn't even tell me. Then I had to invest in another vacuum, which I, I left one vacuum over there for me when I moved because I had two. I had upstairs and downstairs. I ain't dragging all this stuff. Uh, so I just left it. But now, you know, being that it was lightweight, I wish I had kept it, you know, and, and uh, it would have, which my grandson get me, gave me this one, this Hoover right here that I got right now, the one with the whatever. you probably seen that. But anyway, it, it's too, it's kind of heavy to, you know, for the old girl. You know, I already got a problem with my back and a problem with my legs and stuff. And, you know, uh -uh. I need something a little lighter. And maybe use that one maybe once a month and then use and then use the lighter one, you know, like maybe every day or every other day. I think that would work. I declare that looks so look at that. Oh I think that's real. I mean, it looks like a real fireplace. And uh they're just letting it burn and made a you know, like a video out of it. I think it comes with music too. I used to sound like a dog bark. You could hear the you could hear it crackling, you know. 
Uh, I wish I had a fireplace. But then they, too, need work. You got to keep some work up with a fireplace, too. And so I'm wishing for it. Put them about me some firewood in case, you know, something does pop off. I'm going to have me some firewood so I can put it in that grill. And I got some charcoal. I got some charcoal lighter fluid. And, yeah, you know, preparing. I'm preparing for the, you know, whatever. And I'm going to get me, um, what do you call them things? A uh, power station. Um, jackery. I'm getting me a jackery. I'm going to get the cheapest one they got. I want one. <laughs> I want one that will keep the refrigerator going. You know, it's it's like a little, uh, what do you call it? generator? It's like you know, you probably know about that. It's like a little small generator, and I think the one that I wanted was like three hundred dollars. And so I said, I'm gonna get me one of those, but I'll get nothing else. And you know, you gotta have the solar panel. But I said, if I leave the solar panel outside, will somebody steal my solar panel? Or do I have to sit there and babysit the solar panel while the solar panel is getting, you know, what, whatever it is, uh, regenerated? <laughs> oh, my God. That's a talking about terrible shade that you got to worry about if somebody going to steal your solar panel. You know, I put my solar panel outside to get it regenerated and everything, get it ready. And... Along come John. <laughs> it still is my generator. I mean, my little solar panel. But I think the one that I'm thinking of, I got to look in there again. I'm, I've been looking on Amazon. That's where I've been looking. And I think it comes with like a double, but a not real big, not not a real big panel. You know, it's a small, small, because the jackery itself is only about that big. My, my daughter has one, but she got the... Hers only cost, I think, it won't power the refrigerator, she said. They don't have enough juice, you know, to power the refrigerator. But I want something that's going to power my refrigerator if my, you know, my refrigerator goes out. I want that, that at least to have some power. And so I got to get one for about $300 for that, I believe. And um, they about the size of a little portable radio or something like, like that. And I can just put that anywhere, you know, you don't have to hook it up outside, you have that inside. But the panel, I think when you get ready to recharge the panel, you got to get that from the sun, so you got to put that outside. Oh boy, hard time. Hard times, y'all. But you know, back in the day of the Depression, we made it through the Depression, y'all. We made it through COVID. We'll make it do this one also. And on that note, I'm going to eat me some chicken. And I'll see y'all again tomorrow. I go with love.